In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Hello everyone, I am Engineer Saman Gul. And alongside my talented groupmate, Engineer Mushtaq Ahmad. I am honored to present our final year project, that is the portable solar water generator for remote applications. Under the expert guidance of our esteemed supervisor, Engineer Shakil Ahmad Jaskani and the co-supervisor, Engineer Kasir Ali. We have had the privilege of working on this project. Today, I'll walk you through the innovative solutions we have developed to address the pressing need for sustainable water sources in remote areas. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to sharing my project with you. So, our FIP project is funded by the PEC and the IGNITE. Let's begin with the outline. I will discuss the project overview, problem statement, and the objectives, methodology, literature review, hardware design, future work, and last but not least, the references. So let's begin with the project overview. Four billion people, almost two thirds of the world population experience sphere water scarcity for at least one month in each year. Over 2 billion people live in countries where water supply is inadequate. Half of the world population could be living in the areas face facing water scarcity by 2025. Some 700 people could be displaced by the intense water scarcity by 2030. By 2040, roughly one in a four child in a worldwide will be living in the extremely high water stress areas. As you can see in the graph, this is the figure of 2040 projections of the worldwide water scale regions. In order to remedy this issue, we have developed a solution. We have developed a model that is a portable solar water generator for remote areas or the remote applications. This is a device that extracts water from the humid ambient air, producing it for the drinking purpose. Lack of access of clean drinking water, vapor can be extracted by the condensation, cooling the air blow to its dew point, exposing the air to desiccant-based PLTR, AWG. So the problem statement of our FIP is, is Pentier based solar water generator is a new emerging concept to make water accessible in the water scale regions, but there is a very little research done in this area. Most of the solar water generators are refrigerant based, which consumes relatively more power than the Pentier based AWG. Refrigerant based solar water generators are more costly means it is not affordable for everybody living in the water scare region. The ends and objectives are, so our first objective is to design a portable solar water generator using PLTRs. The second objective is to experimentally investigate the PLTR based AWG under different environmental conditions. For example, with various different temperature with the relative humidity and to compare it with the work done by other researchers in this area. In order to achieve our first objective, that is to design a portable solar water generator using PLTR, it is a flow diagram in which a water is supplied in, in which water is supplied to the pump and the pump through a PLTR, PLTR will decrease the temperature of inlet water and then that water will be will be gone into the condenser. The condenser 
in the condenser will condense the water and the droplets of water will be occurring on the condenser and that water will be collected to the collection tank and the warm water will be reversed back to the water tank and this process will repeat again and again our second objective is to experimentally investigate the peltier based awg under different environmental condition as you can see in the flow diagram this is the enclosed enclosure in which we have awg sensor and spray if the relative humidity is less than the desired value it will do nothing else if it is greater than the relative humidity then the process will begin so the methodology is our proposed model will produce water from the surrounding air we will design a peltier based awg our proposed model will satisfy both of the objectives we did a literature review uh, this paper helps us a lot which is uh, optimal design of an atmospheric water generator awg based on thermoelectric cooler tank for drought in rural areas in which you can see they have used a pwm controller ampere meter voltmeter frequency meters and uh, uh, temperature hygrometer baker glass in which uh, they have uh, you know uh, they have uh, made a graph uh, which is uh, air flow rate is directly proportional to the water productivity what does it mean i mean uh, it means water is directly proportional what air flow rate is directly proportional to the generation of water as the air flow rate is increases the water generation is also increases they both have the linear relationship between them then they have uh, compared the performance of commercial awg with the tech based awg here few of the models they have compared in which there is a dolphin one which produces 27.5 liters per day with 500 watts of the power and the energy 1570.9 under the temperature of 30 degrees with the relative humidity of 80% as you can see the second model produces 26 liters per day with the power 1025 and the energy 3489.4 under the temperature of 28 degrees and the relative humidity is 80% the third model is air juicer 4010 which produces uh, water 19 liters per day with the power 500 watts with the energy 2281.5 and the temperature is 26.7 degrees with the relative humidity of 60% here is uh, the fourth one is a prototype of tech based awg which produces 14.6 liters per day with the power 125 watts which is relatively less than the other models of the awgs which consumes the less air power 125 watts rather than the commercial awgs and it also uh, with the energies of 739.7 which is relatively less than the other energies and the temperature is 26 degrees with the relative humidity of 60% this is a tech based which is i guess the more efficient uh, efficient awg prototype than the others as you can see in the graph the relative humidity is the direct linkage with the water generation as far as the relative humidity increases the water generation increases the 
temperature of the inlet air increases, the water generation increases, whereas has the air flow rate and the efficiency is somewhat in linear relationship between them. So the hardware components we have used, the condenser, Peltiard, aluminum tank, power source, heat sink. So we have assembled our, our components like that. We have assembled the fans, the heat sinks, the Peltiards, the aluminum tank in order to achieve our objectives. That is, firstly, we have to design a Peltiar based AWG. So in order to achieve our objectives, we have a connection, uh, we have made a connection of the component on the software, which is, uh, which says uh, it is a, it is a water tank which supplied water through this pump to the Peltiars. There are two Peltiars. We have used Peltiar models. Each Peltiar contains two Pelt. Each, each of each of the aid, uh, each of the Peltiar containing two Peltiars. It means that there there are in total four Peltiars. The water is supplied to the Peltiars. The Peltiar will reduce the temperature of the water and that temperature of the water and as far as the temperature of the water decreases then that water will be supplied to the condenser as here in the condenser you can see the outer temperature of the surrounding and the inlet temperature of water make some difference due to this difference the the water droplet will occur on this condenser and that droplet will be collected by the collection tank and the warm water will reverse back to the water tank. This process repeatedly repeat again and again. So we have tested our components uh, in order to achieve our objectives so here you can see we have tested our Peltiars with the Peltiars, our sensors and our, you know, heat sinks and other components as well. So the power consumption of our tech base AWG, we have used the components Peltiar fans and water pump where the voltage voltages are 12 volts. Uh, of Peltiar pen 12 volts and water pump of 12 volt with where the Peltiars having current of 5 ampere, the fan having current of 1.5 ampere and the water pump having the current of 2 amperes where the consumption of power of the Peltiar is 60 volts and the fans of 80 volt where the water pump power consumption is 24 volts. As you can see, the total power consumption is 318 volts. Here is a temperature time graph. You can see at time zero, the temperature is 30. At time 30, the temperature is 27. At time 60, the temperature is still decreased from 27 to 25.3. At time 90, the temperature is still decreasing from 25.3 to 21. At time 120, the temperature is decreased from 121 to 19.5. At 150, 18.3. At 180, the temperature is still decreased from 18.3 to 17. So, this means the temperature and the time having the inverse relationship. Means the time, as far as the time increases, the temperature decreases. So the prototype design of our enclosure is, this is the back view, this is the top view, and this is the front view. So the enclosure of, uh, so the final enclosure of our prototype is like this. So this is our final model. As you can see, 
this is a temperature sensor and the humidity sensor and uh, this is fully functional pentr based awg model here we have used condenser fans pentrs and different uh, temperature sensors and the motors as you can see we have given the supply through the power supply and this is fully functional prototype of peltier based awg in which we have used four peltiers each of one pack is containing two peltiers so as you can see the droplets of water is collected through here the collection tank so we have done the comparative analysis of our fip with the proposed commercial uh, fip uh, proposed commercial models which we, i have discussed in the uh, my literature review as you can see our prototype our pro our tech based prototype which is a peltier base produces 140 ml in 3 hours which means it produces 1120 ml and which consumes 380 watt power which is relatively less than the other uh, other commercial pelt other commercial awgs where under the temperature of 31 degrees where the relative humidity is 58.6 so the future recommendation and the future work in in future work we could be focused on optimizing its performance in different climates and environments for example the efficiency and the output may vary in regions with different level of sunlight or different water quality in in order to increase the efficiency of this model we will also increase the number of peltier peltier or we can also uh, increase the size of the condenser this will also increase uh, the you know this will also increase the efficiency of this prototype so here are the references this is uh, the optimal design of an atmospheric water generator based thermoelectric cooler for rural in areas which is published in 2016 with renewable and sustainable energies the second one is optimizing relatively relative humidity based on the heat transfer terms of elect thermoelectric atmospheric water generator awg innovative design which is published in engineering journal uh, in 2021 and the third it is published in 2018 which says uh, a comprehensive study of an atmospheric water generator using peltier effect so the geometric design of solar added latent heat store depending on the various parameter of the phase change material which is published in 1918 1998 and here is the an other research paper which is experimental investigation on portable fresh water generator using a thermoelectric cooler energy which is published in 2017 lastly we have gone through a paper uh, research paper which says optimal design of an atmospheric water generator based on the thermoelectric cooler tech for drottal areas which is published in 2016 thank you for watching